Hello, I'm the Bear Tarot, also known as Lydia, <laughs> and on this channel I talk about all things Build-A-Bear. I currently have 155 Build-A-Bears, with the 156th on the way. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a problem. <laughs> Anyways, as promised, I'm finally doing my video on all of my bear carriers. Now there is one I'm going to show in here that I thought was a bear carrier. It's not. It's actually a drawstring backpack, but oh well. So let's get started. I guess I am going to start off with the drawstring backpack, which I can't remember when I got this, but it was when they released the Zurific line. So it's just a cute little backpack. Um, it does have this little detail, which I think is like back when headphones and like earbuds are wired. You're supposed to like stick them through, maybe. I'm not quite sure to be honest, but I keep like crafting supplies in there now. But it came with this, which I think Barry Harriers should have to this day because these are just so cute. It's a little bag for your bear. Also, I just noticed it. Yes, my husband did make a liar out of me. Ooh, that's one lamb wearing shoes and my other lamb. Yeah, my other lamb <laughs> is wearing shoes. Um, so I've now got three bears. Why did I almost hold up two fingers? Three bears <laughs> um, that were backpacks. Not, geez Louise, not backpacks, shoes. I got back from work. It's been a long day. So I'm sorry for misspeaking left and right in here. And then, again, this next bag is not a bear carrier, but my husband put it in my pile for the video. Um, he's actually at work right now, so that's why I'm not as enthusiastic, I guess. Um, this is the pajama shop bag. Now, I really like that the O is a little moon. I also like that the bear was asleep. Look at them. Again, not a bear carrier. It's meant to hold the pajamas, but it's still so cute and it's a nice little drawstring bag. Alrighty, sorry, had to pause the recording for a second because I figured if I'm showing you two bags that aren't bear carriers, I might as well show you the third I have. And it is this little drawstring bag. Now this, I actually have two different versions of it. Um, like they're the same minus a color difference and this is what it looks like and this here so what this is is this is the Swarovski bear um they come in like this cloth case um but the little signal I or symbol I was showing you says crystals from Swarovski since 1995 I believe it's a really tiny print but I like these. I actually use one of these and I store all my unique tags in here. Alrighty. So on to the actual bear carriers. Now, if you've seen my previous video, which was about my Girl Scout collection, you'll recognize these. We have one Girl Scout bag. And this is the back. And if I remember correctly, I'm going to turn around and see. I do believe that this pattern matches Gloria. It does. There is her flitzy. And then we have this Girl Scout bag. And this one actually has the pattern on the back. And this one matches the Adventure Fools bear, Carmen. Oh boy, I'm going to be embarrassed if her name isn't Carmen. And I'm just remembering this incorrectly. No, because that's Carmen. This is Savannah. We've got Gloria. We've got Mildred. And then we've got Lo. There we go. That's my thing is I'm always like, it's not a problem if I remember their names. And I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to forget names. So this is when I know it's a problem. <laughs> and then, again, another one that if you've watched my videos, you're familiar with. But this is my totally not Easter, Easter bear carrier. Isn't it cute? I just, I don't know, I love the little animals on it and just their little headbands and 
so cute. All right. Now we're getting into like some of the seasonals and everyone is tangled together. Oh no, this is a disaster. <laughs> um, okay, okay. I think I figured out how to release this one. So this is a rainbow bear carrier. Um, this look. And the pattern does continue on to the back. <laughs> then I have the Valentine's Day, which is just hearts and bear me. Is it bear me? I say it's bear me. All over. And then we have the winter, which is all the little snowflakes. We have Halloween. And I'm going to save one of these for last because it's going to lead me on a tangent. Okay. So I have a Pokemon carrier. And sorry if you can hear the rain. It's stopped for a bit. Now it's going back pretty heavily. So again, sorry if you can hear it. All right, so this is my last bear carrier. It's just plain red, and it says Chicago. I used to live in Chicago. I actually got this when my husband came down to Chicago to help me pack up my apartment so I could move in. Um, but my tangent is there are two things I really wish that they would change on the Build-A-Bear website, which is one, a list of all the Build-A-Dino locations. There's only like four still left. So I'd really like to know where they are. And then I'd really, really like a list of locations that have unique items. For instance, I went to two different Build-A-Bears in Chicago, the one at, I believe it was the Fashion Mall, and the one in Navy Pier. The Fashion Mall location does not have any items that are unique to Chicago. However, Navy Pier had this Chicago bear carrier and a Navy Pier t-shirt, and I think maybe like something about the sports teams, but I don't care about sports, so whatever. Um, there's several Blood Bears in Las Vegas. I think only one of them has the Vegas exclusives. It's things like that, like I wish for they would list what it is so you would go to the correct place because I had to research which mall it was to make sure we went to the right one to get our Vegas stuff. But yeah, I just wish they were a bit more descriptive. But, oh well, what can you do? Or even, I wish that they would have a list of what items are available. So like you could go on the website and there's like, by location, and then you can like, click like, oh, Navy Pier, and it shows you everything Navy Pier has. I don't know. That's my little pipe dream. It's never going to happen, but it'd be nice. I mean, they have to fix the website first. That's, ooh, that's the major issue, isn't it? Have you guys tried to, like, order anything during releases, like midnight releases? That is so bad. It is so bad. Um, just, yeah, they really need to fix the website. <laughs> uh, Let's see, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I want to go on a tangent on. I don't think so. Oh, I actually... So I'm trying to think of how to word this. I've bought another bear carrier before, but it's not mine. It's my mother-in-law's. I bought her the Disney 50th Anniversary Bear Carrier because I got her the Mickey Mouse bundle. Um, but that bear carrier is pretty cute. I don't have it in my possession, obviously. But that is one I have come in contact with. So, I'm curious. Do you guys own bear carriers? If so, which ones? Or how many do you have? I feel like it's an addiction. I feel like almost every time I go in and there's a new bear carrier, I have to get it. And I don't know why. I, I don't use them too much. Like, I mean, I'll use them if I'm like, bringing a bear in to get fixed. Like when we took Gloria in to get her Thin Mint smell and like we had her in the bag. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't use them too often, but I just like having them around. So if I ever want to carry a bear with me to go to like Walmart, 
I have the option. Well, anyways, I hope you guys are having a good one, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!